Typical Thursday morning. 7 a.m. On my way to school. Usually takes me about 20 minutes to get to school. Most days I listen to sports radio. Hear how bad our Canucks are doing. Here's my school. Cedar Secondary. Home of the Spartans. It's a rural school. About 450 students. First one here, opening the gate. I like to get to work early. That way I can get a little bit of extra work done before the kids get here. Did I say work? I meant workout. It's time to play a little basketball. CBA, Cedar Basketball Association. Best league in the business. Boys feel sorry for me, so they let me play. Showered up, on my way to class. Well, what do we have here? Toga Day. Gotta love those great 12s. First block. French 8. There they are. Faithful grade 8s waiting for me. I love these guys. This is my classroom. Taught here for the last five years. It's a nice classroom. 30 desks, 30 chairs, two computers. Things are changing. Inspired by my learnings in OLTD this year, um, I've set out to make some changes and I've now established two blended classes that are fairly paperless and the students create e-portfolios and all their assignments are listed and posted online through a basic uh, LMS on Weebly. Uh, I've been very encouraged by the changes. Um, I'm learning lots, the students are learning lots, and the engagement level is very high. It's been a great year. I think the internet was a game changer for, for education, or probably for, for all of society and, and every element of it. Uh, but, you know, as David Wiley says, schools are no longer, universities are no longer um, the gatekeepers of information and I think open sources and, and uh, the open movement and open uh, educational resources are something that are going to continue to shape and change education and as a teacher in a brick and mortar school um, I think it's so important that we embrace uh, the positive aspects of these change and help facilitate um, learning online as well as um, teaching in a face-to-face -face environment, more of a blended model. I think I might have been born a generation too late to truly appreciate the culture of uh, remixes and mashups, but um, it's something that my students um, are engaging in. I've been trying to give them the opportunity to sort of showcase their learning through this forum and uh, one of my latest uh, projects that we've been working on. The students put together something that was, uh, for me, was really exciting and uh, I was excited to share. So I'm going to show you a sample of that right now. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation, instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night, instead of armies by day. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. No expenditure is questioned, no rumor is printed, no secret is revealed. It conducts the Cold War in short, with a wartime discipline 
no democracy would ever hope or wish to match. Cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, yo. Cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, yo. Cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. I don't think the final chapter um, has been written on a book of MOOCs yet. I, I think they're in an evolutionary process and I think a lot of problems still remain um, in terms of how do you give credit um, for somebody who participates in a MOOC uh, and I think we're still struggling with sort of traditional models of education and uh, the growing um, open movement and I, I don't think that's a bad thing I, I think you know perhaps it's you know MOOCs are the tip of the spear and, and what emerges on the other side of it will certainly um, will hopefully be, be an improvement and uh, I think people are still trying to decide whether or not this is a vehicle to make money or this is simply learning for the sake of education. I don't think I can plead ignorance anymore on, uh, on copyright <laughs> after taking this course and uh, knowing what I know now about uh, the Creative Commons and copyright and copyleft. Uh, I'm very encouraged by um, the copyleft movement and uh, by the open movement in general. I hope to see um, educational materials continue to be to be open and shared. Um, and in terms of uh, music and movies, I don't know where that falls. I, I think artists still need to um, be paid for their work and I'm not sure where um, the boundaries of uh, the Creative Commons starts and ends with that uh, for artists. Um, I do know that for, for this movie, I, uh, I used a site called gemendo.com where uh, I used uh, open uh, Creative Commons licensed music and that was uh, a positive change for me and uh, an awareness of um, the issue. Looking towards the future um, and my role as an educator, I, I think philosophically it's important to me that um, I teach face-to-face -to, -face to some degree with students. Um, coming to school early to play basketball with students, um, organizing field trips, mountain bike field trips to amazing locations, hiking the West Coast Trail, active learning. These are all aspects of teaching that I don't think can be replaced um, online. And I, I think I'm, I'm becoming a, a, a big proponent of blended learning. Um, I am completely revolutionized by online learning and the potential that's there for student engagement, um, for, for amazing and engaging content and uh, the open movement itself is a very very exciting but that said I don't I don't think it's one or the other and uh, I don't see um, neighborhood schools disappearing I once uh, asked uh, Stephen Downs a question in a forum and uh, it, it went along the lines of um, how do you see online learning and you know traditional schools or brick and mortar schools and school districts sort of blending and coming together? And he, you know, answered shortly, not not well. And I think maybe therein lies my role, you know, as an educator who understands um, and is learning about online learning, becoming an expert in online learning. Um, I want to try to blend the two together and make that uh, um, that those two ideas try to make them come together as harmonious as possible and I think that's uh, where I'm going with uh, with my vision and with my work right now. All you know is all the lies all caught up in paradise Running away from everything real Everything that hurts to feel